Welcome back to another episode and welcome to Ingenia Middle Rock. This caravan park is located in One Mile, which is in Port Stephens, New South Wales. This is a great little park which has a broad range of cabins. There's also unpowered, powered and powered ensuite sites. There are two amenity blocks, one with a laundry and there's also three barbecue areas scattered throughout the park. There is an awesome pool which has two swimming areas, a heated spa, there's loads of seating and pool lounge chairs. Adjacent to this is a kids splash park with slides. There is also a cafe in this area which offers breakfast and lunch. They also serve alcohol with happy hour being 4 to 5 p.m. Expect the pool and tables to be packed at this time. There's also a beach access which is about a 500 meter walk to the beach. There are two beaches in the area and if you're into just wearing your birthday suit, make sure you head to Samurai Beach which is the northern beach. That is the local nudist beach in Port Stephen. If you're after a great powered site, sites 130 to 137 are large level sites with gardens in between each site. We stayed on 133 and you didn't feel like you're on top of each other like you do at some parks. T98A and T1111 are level astroturf sites and sites 90 to 121 are nice grass sites which overlook the large grassed unpowered area and they're also next to the small amenity block. If you want a bit of privacy and not be in the center of the park, powered sites C24 to C27 are great. 25 and 26 are the best in the area. They are large grass sites with a barbecue area at the back. Also the opposite side, C19 to 23 are good also. The unpowered area is great with a big central open space with large undercover barbecue camp kitchen with loads of seating in there. And there's also a small basketball court and kids play area. The best sites are C12 to 26 and C18 to 31. If you can't get those, C8 to 11 are okay, but are a little unlevel. All the rest of the unpowered sites are unlevel. They also have a marriage saver if you need it. The roads in the central area are quite small and a bit of a tight squeeze to back into your side if someone's on the opposite side. In terms of the location, Anabay is the closest town. In there you've got some shops, you've got a fuel station and also Anabay Tavern, which has an awesome atmosphere and is great if you're after lunch or dinner or just chasing a schooner. If you're bringing your four-wheel drive up and want to do some beach four-wheel driving, you can head on to Samurai Beach where the access is just north of the park. Also, you can take your four-wheel drive on Baruby Beach where the access is in Anabay. This is a great little park if you just wanted to come here, chill by the pool or the beach. Just be mindful that there is another Ingenia, Ingenia One Mile, which is just one minute down the road. So don't get them confused and just make sure that you know which one that you booked into. If you get it wrong, they've both got U-turn Bay so you can head to the right caravan park. We really enjoyed our stay here. As you can probably tell in the video, I no longer have Lila. So we lost her on the 23rd of October. So when we come back from our trip to Scott's Head, unfortunately, I think she had something wrong with her spine. So we took her to the vet and I had to make the hard decision for her quality of life as she had minimal control of her legs and no control of her bladder or bowel. So we put her down on the 23rd of October, 23. And now she currently travels with me in the Winnebago in her little box. So yeah, you won't see Lila anymore in the videos, unfortunately. So yeah, stay tuned for the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. <music>